Right, we've realised how boring we can be when we're doing in our general. drinking bit. <laughs> yeah, in general, and mainly when we're drinking. I was watching one of our episodes because I'm a massive narcissist, and even I got bored of this bit. Um, so we've decided to separate it out and try and make it a bit more concise. Yes. So uh, it's time for a beer. first one this week is this delightful pink can, Dirty Deeds Brewery or something. New England IPA, Dirty Deeds, Allendale Brewing Company. Um, it's got some sort of rabbit on it. Where did you get this? Uh, local supermarket, this one. It's not from our uh, colleagues at Beer 52. Colleagues. Uh, so, this one I don't think has any mad flavours or anything. So... It should be nice, Thera. Cheers. I'm not keen on that. No, I'm not. No. Sort of. I had high hopes for this. Brewed in a tin can. Yeah. It it does have a very metallic aftertaste, does that? Um, aftertaste. Yeah, it's apparently brewed in England's last wilderness. Handcrafted. Handcrafted beer. I don't understand this. We've got another one where they've named the hops as well. So rather than just saying hops, it's we've got the hops, Galaxy, Cascade, Vic Secret. Not sure what that means. Um, well, it is 6.6% though, so you'd, you know, you won't need many of them. There is a certain amount when you start getting higher up the, the scale of, of uh, volume. You do, you do you do realise that it is stronger because it's got that stronger taste to it. Yeah, I know but, what you mean. <clears throat> but I wouldn't have. I just thought that just tasted horrible. Yeah, that's the sort of last pine in the keg sort of taste. The one that's been sat in the pipes for a couple of weeks. If if we hadn't have chilled these beforehand, oh, that would have been disgusting. I think it's gained two points. Yeah. Just from being chilled. Are we, are we scoring it? What would you score it? Four. A four. Yeah, I'll probably agree with you, four. Um, I'm trying not to be bitter this week, because uh, I went to Dublin last week, and for a pint of Guinness and a Diet Coke, it cost me nearly 11 euros. Yeah, yeah. Which is more than the beer that I bought on your stag do. <laughs> That was £6.25. £6. <laughs> and I'm still bitter about it now. We will get that beer at some point. When we no, no <laughs> I'm not if I'm paying for it with fucking warm. No, you can't. We, we, uh, Rob did yeah. search that up. And you oh, can Flaky only, Rob. Flaky Rob, yeah. yeah. You can't actually buy that. You can't. We can't find it as a separate beer. No, you have to you buy crate. a big crate of it. It's, it's, like it's extortionate. Quid. Yeah. Um, did you enjoy the Guinness? Uh, I could not distinguish it from any other Guinness I'd ever had. I'm not a massive Guinness drinker. It's like drinking cream. <laughs> but I have the odd one, and it were no better and no worse than a well-kept Guinness over here. I will hold on to the fact... I mean, apparently... I mean, I don't know whether it's just like a national thing, but when I was living in Ireland, I never tried a Guinness until I came back over here. Yeah, which is a bit mental. Because yeah, I never really... Because I didn't really drink beer. And, and when I came over here, I started drinking more beer, and then I got you know got more into it. But back when I was And now he's there, an alcoholic. We shouldn't be drinking these. It's... Terrible for him. <laughs> but <clears throat> going back to the, the money thing, oh, yeah. going back to the money thing, uh, I, I remember going out when I lived in Ireland and getting a getting a pint was about six euro something. Fuck. And and it's only when I moved back and went to uni and then going into like Harvester, which was like close to us, and it had a bar. Two pounds twenty. <laughs> no, it was it's yeah. like two twenty for a, for a pint of Carlin, and I went. Yeah. You being serious? Oh, I have two. <laughs> Give me two of those. <laughs> And then you go, and then they have happy hour, and you go like, fucking hell. But at uh, four. Forgettable, yeah. Uh, you drink I'll give it a pint of that. couple of times to that. <laughs> and I will write it down on this slip of paper that I will what, immediately what throw in the bin <laughs> after I leave. Yeah, <laughs> yeah as, as, as if it means anything. <laughs> yeah. Um, Offset inspector for beers. Yeah. Hang on, does that make me the Freddie Bentley then? Yeah. More or less. I don't understand why people drink beer. <laughs> I'm really holding back. Not you're doing the uh, 
aficionado of porn star martinis, though, if memory serves. I, f- I love a porn star martini. I love a daiquiri. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm not one to talk, am I? Holiday last week, I drank many. Many <clears throat> strawberry, I kiwi had, and mango daiquiris. I had porn star martinis on my stag do. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> Uh, to be honest, we were we were going to go to Tilt Bar, and that's where I was going to have one. It's only one we were in that Chinese karaoke, and we left there. And I was drinking vodka and coke, and then we got there, and then I was presented with a with a that thing. bar we went to where the ping pong. No, the other one where like forty percent of the drinks had some sort of raw egg in them. That was Tilt Bar. That's f- who wants to be drinking raw egg on a night out? Like I've been drinking all day. A weightlifter. All day. And then to drink raw eggs with vodka and all mad shit in them just were terrible. Did idea. you not have anything in there then? I think I might have had a daiquiri. Oh no, I had a Long Island iced tea. I do like a night Long Island iced tea. I do. It's, it's, very very, nice. it's very easy to fuck that up as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah, a good Long Island <clears throat> iced tea is a good drink. Irritatingly, the, the first time I ever had one, it was lush. And then your second time was shy. Every other time has always been crap. Yeah. So then I went out a couple of... Christmases ago and bought every single bottle. That well, that'll you need. be about like hundred quid's worth. It's shit, like yeah, because it's got every single drink. It's got like, like it's got like rum and gin and tequila, Quantro and Coke and Coke and something else. It's yeah, got something else. It's bitters as well. It's got in it. Angostura's. Four or five spirits, <laughs> and it's just topped Get off. You fucked up. <laughs> it's basically just topped off with that. Yeah, you have like a shot's worth of cork in the top of it. It's good. good shit. Get your fuck. So f- you're yeah. giving that a four? Yeah, four of that one. Right, I'm uh, I'm not looking forward to our next beer. Although, it is from a reputable brand. We've had one of theirs before. Yeah, we say, I say reputable. It was our strongest ever beer from the Wild Beer Company. And the one we had before were 11%. Um, Crushed espresso, chocolate and vanilla flavour. Syrup. Yeah, it was like drinking syrup. Um, I think I quite enjoyed that one. No, you, <clears throat> you you were trying to act all manly and went, I like it because it was strong. but I think I then gave it quite an average score. You couldn't give it more than... You couldn't give it I more give than it a six. I should, should probably write these down. You do. <laughs> oh, yeah. I should I mean, probably keep hold of that. Yeah. Them, yeah. uh, so this week we've got the Pogo from um, the Wild Beer Company. It's a pale ale with passion fruit, orange and guava. I like the first part of what you said. What, the pale ale <coughs> bit? The pale ale bit, yeah. Yeah, I'm not even, I was going to smell it and then I, I changed my mind. I thought that would be a dreadful idea. Oh, it's an interesting colour. At least you didn't have to spoon it out like the other one. <laughs> that it looks like a, a frothy, sunny delight. Yeah, it's, it's got that sort of guts dying vibe. I notice how you always give me just a little bit more. I, I equally pour these, as you can see. Also, I have to drive on. <laughs> you live here, in the studio. In the studio. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's cloudy. Cheers. Cheers. Now, fairly consistently, I've not liked the ones with... Tangy, fl- fruity flavours. That's fucking nice. That's nice. That is, that's pretty you know, good. That that cleared my palate at the same time. Yeah. That was like having a really strong coffee and then drinking something fruity afterwards. Yeah. That's that's, that's really nice. It is. Especially compared to the last one, because that one was shit. What? <laughs> um, 4.1. Yeah, it's only mild. So that's what was the last one, 6.6. 6. Oh, that's the fruity taste isn't overpowering. <laughs> Because we've accumulated quite a collection of beers now to do these shows with. <clears throat> yeah. Um, a lot of them I'm dreading, dreading drinking because we've still got some from our friends at Beer 52. Yeah, some of the ones that... Are, I, th- I, I've, I think I've consistently not liked the coffee ones. Yeah, which is strange because you're a big proponent of coffee. I love coffee. I don't like coffee beer, apparently. I, d- I like stouts. I just who'd, like- who'd have thought it? Who'd have thought that? <laughs> <clears throat> I just uh, that that's that's actually good. that that was from the local supermarket as well. Yeah, yeah, it was. I don't think they sell it anymore. They got a lot of they had a some sort of beer festival that they invented and bought in a lot of beers. 
Yeah, it's more sort of gins now. Isn't it? Did I see something the other day that, you know, it's like everyone does gin. They think mm. it's going to be rum next rum. year, yeah. which I love rum. I love a dark and stormy. I have not had a dark and stormy since New Year's. <laughs> Good times. I don't think I've even had rum since New Year's. Good times. I don't think I'll have to change the tipple. Are we still doing cigars? <laughs> yeah, I might. It's not, not fucked up. Namibian cigars or whatever the fuck they were. <laughs> yeah. Mor- Two of your cheapest cigars, please. <laughs> that was because we we had we had cigars. I'm I'm convinced something fucked me over that night. More For context, so. Lewis didn't make it to New Year's. Uh, I had to carry him to bed. Me and my other brother-in-law, mm. uh, we're gonna winged him into bed because he was barely conscious on the bathroom floor. The thing was, I've drunk that amount before. Uh, not not recently, but you are very old now. That was probably in your early twenties, late teens, early twenties. Why do you wear a hat? It's so you don't feel bad about your terrible head of hair when you see my glorious one. You're, yeah, that's exactly. why. Exactly. Uh, you, do, you don't realise how much editing I have to do on these shows to actually just like... What, from just, the light just, bouncing just, off your forehead? Yeah, off yours. <laughs> off mine, <laughs> off yours. And I strategically place the camera in a place where you can't see my shiny hair. Because <laughs> every time, it, it always goes here. It's, for years, it's always been two points on here. What, where the light reflects off? The light reflects off my head. But no, that night, I'm convinced it wasn't just the, the, the drink. Oh, them pills that you took. It could have been them. <laughs> No, but I, like, Could have been the, the if, handful of random pills. If I if I've been smashed before to the point where I can't really move, we've all been like that. Yeah. Your brain is all going all over the place. I was fully aware of what was going on, fully aware. Even when you flung me on the bed and threw me over the side, I even thought, "Oh, I'm going to slip off the edge here." Like because you threw me that hard across the bed. When I started sliding off, I thought, "I'm going to hit the floor here." What a new bright orange puffer jacket. It was freezing outside. <laughs> And that was so comfortable as well. It was like having a duvet on me anyway. Yeah, you'd have definitely overheated and died if we'd have left you in that. Well, it was it was great anyway. But uh, what would you give that? That one, I'd give that a seven. Seven. Um, seven and a half, yeah. Just not, not too sure it deserves an eight. I don't think we've given any an eight yet. I think I did. Did you? I, I think it were a terrible one. Let's get, from, from now on, let's have... A chart of some description. When we get, we're hoping to get into a new studio. Yeah, in, soon. In, and have a proper website soon. Hopefully. Something. I'll not say a proper website. Well, some sort of site. Yeah. As far as. as yeah, as far, I, I want to be able to um, have some sort of physical. Uh, <laughs> physical chart! Oh, okay. So because we, we we've done we, um, we've we've oh, done like a display board like in a school like a sort of Jeremy Clarkson old school Top Gear oh yeah we this could we could have a chart on the wall moving it up and down I could easily get something like that made up yeah because <clears throat> you can get like a magnetic strips and yeah. stuff like that but um, I would l- I <sighs> fuck me is it... this is the issue I can't, I'm, I'm losing track um, yeah. I think it. I think it's good. Right, you ready? Hide yeah. your glass over there. Right. Quite enjoyed that one. I was, that was really nice. Shocked because really nice. I've been look, we've had that one for two or three weeks now. Have we? Yeah, and um, I've keep been getting look, put off because it's kind of got the grapefruit or yeah, orange the guava or and passion fruit. Passion yeah. Fruit. Ah, that's what I, I was thinking. I could taste that. Oh yeah, it tastes just like a pawn star martini. martini. Yeah, oh, of course it does. Yeah. Uh, right, so we're on to our third and final one. Gifted. Please, Gifted by you. Dave and Andy. Um, yeah. For as a thank you for shooting their wedding. You shot a wedding? I shot a wedding. You were at the wedding as well, if you oh, remember me yes. hovering around with the camera. Like a stalker. Like a stalker. Yeah. But a um, very noisy stalker. So we've got the Orkham Citra Session IPA. It's a zesty, hoppy citrus flavour. Uh, it's got some sort of green wizard on it. Green giant. Yeah. Um, we'll probably get demonetised for that if we don't get monetised. What? It's using other people's slogans. Um, I wasn't looking forward to this one because we've not had 
good results with citrusy flavours. However, however, the last beer was that citrus. Well, I'd say passion fruit and orange and citrusy flavours. Oranges. I'd say passion fruit is. Let me find last little bit. There you go. Right, chin chin. Oh, that smells bad. That smells like someone's farting. I was it. about, it touched my lips at the same time I smelled it and I was like, nope. It does smell like hot, fresh ass. <laughs> I don't think zesty or citrus <laughs> is the right. Oh, it's, uh, is the right term for that that's um i think it was the overpowering scent of ass yeah. <laughs> yeah um it says in 2009 on his annual hop sourcing visit to the usa he sounds boring there who's this Orkham's brewing director john bryan oh i don't care yeah. about that what what i do like is when you say a lot of these beers i know you, you take the time to read a lot of these yeah bits on there and they all tend to follow the same sort of like a magical magi- hops yeah, 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 thing. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like Brewdog. Um, yeah. Brewdog. Um, but in 2009, on his annual yeah, hops that's sourcing just for the US, I don't yeah. care about no. John Byron and him discovering exceptional new hop yeah, variety, etc. He returned well, to the UK. What is he fucking. Um, uh, Riley bringing potatoes back to England. He rushed to the UK, ensuring that Oakham Ale in 2009. I'm sure things like that would have been found out. I'm not. I'm not. Lying yeah, I'm not. John I'm not Byron. saying. Yeah, I'm not having that. That you can go and discover a new breed of hop in 2009 in America. If it said, "Oh yes, he went to Vietnam into the jungle yeah. and he found some new hops growing," I might, I might have, uh, might have believed in there. But I do enjoy a, a golden. A light pale ale. I'm not particularly enjoying <clears throat> this. No, uh, this this does have a an uncomfortable, unsettling aroma. Is it better or worse than the first one that we had, though? Uh, as in the today, I, I I enjoy this more than the other one. The other one was very metallicy. This is more farty. <sighs> I don't know. I think I enjoy the first one more. Really? Yeah. There's a really unpleasant aftertaste. You know the sort of orange peel? When you're peeling an orange and you get that weird sort of super bitter oil that comes out of the skin. I get that. That's the aftertaste of this. Yeah, I get it. I, I'm, I'm not I'm not hating it, um, but it does have, a, a like I said, an unsettling farty smell taste to it. Not that I know about Someone farting in my mouth, but well, whatever you do at a weekend is up to you. Friday night. Yeah, uh, that's why we record on Thursdays now. Exactly. Um, I'm going to give that. I'll give it a four. I'll give it the same as the one that we had earlier on because I'm not enjoying it anymore or any less really. Um, I'd give it a six. A six. A six. Yeah. I don't know. How we're going to do this uh, mythical board that you've suggested. Well, we have to. I reckon it will have to be mm, average. It has to be average. I think. Yeah, I'll let you work them out. <clears throat> well, frustratingly, like the, the the one the wild beer company one that we had before, the yes. syrupy one. Yeah, that was the worst thing I've ever tasted. Really, <laughs> worse than the peanut butter and chocolate stout that we had in the. I gave it first worse. ever episode. I gave it worse than that. Jesus, I'm pretty sure I gave it worse than that. I don't think it was that bad. It was. It was horrible. It had a horrible... It, it, it assaulted your mouth. It may as well have just taken a dump in your mouth. That was back when we recorded on Fridays. <laughs> see, see, how, see how I did that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gassy, this one. Yeah, I'm not enjoying it. That Maybe that's why it smells like ass. <sighs> that's how they get the um, the bubbles. Yeah, it could be. Right, thanks for watching our very first episode of Beer Chat, what do we call it? We've not decided on a name yet, we might have by the time it's been uploaded. <laughs>